Catching the racket with your non-hitting hand when you follow through on your forehand can be a good thing to do if you're a little weak on some of the forehand fundamentals. When I catch my racket after I make contact and follow through, this forces me to do a couple things. First, it forces me to extend out in the direction that I'm hitting. It forces me to turn my forearm and my wrist over like I have a watch on and I'm trying to check the time. And it forces me to bring my arm across my body in a smooth and relaxed motion so I can catch it up here. Also, we talked about how you get your other arm out of the way in a separate video in, the, in this section, in the forehand advanced section. And if you're having trouble getting your arm across your body, catching the racket when you follow through can help with that as well. Now with all that said, catching the racket is entirely stylistic. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. I don't do it. When I hit, I just leave my arm here, follow through across my body. Pros on tour, some catch it, some don't. So you can have a follow through where the racket comes over your shoulder and you don't necessarily have to catch it. And to demonstrate this point, let's look at some high speed of Frank Salazar hitting a forehand and Oliver Ackley hitting a forehand. Now on these forehands, both these guys are gonna follow through over their shoulder. Frank is gonna catch it like you can see here, Oliver is not. So again, entirely stylistic, both these guys have flawless forehand mechanics, so you don't have to catch it, you can, up to you. Now, there are some situations when you don't want to try to catch your racket. So it is stylistic, but you're not always allowed to do it because it can inhibit your mechanics. As a general rule, a good way to think about it, if the racket comes over your shoulder, you're allowed to catch it. The lower down you get, the less appropriate it becomes to catch the racket. If, if I'm following through over here and I try and catch it, this is really awkward. So you can't really do it. So basically, once you get below the shoulder, can't catch the racket with your other hand as you follow through. Now, let's go to the FYB TV screen and watch Oliver hit what is called a windshield wiper forehand. And on these forehands, the racket finishes lower down. It finishes below the shoulder. And you'll see that as Oliver follows through, he doesn't catch the racket with his other hand because the way his arm and his racket are moving, that would be, this would be awkward. It would be awkward right now for him to try and catch the racket. For comparison's sake, now let's jump to a picture of Andy Roddick following through below his shoulder. And if we move in on this picture a little bit, you can see that his left hand is down by his pocket and he's not catching the racket with his other hand. So the key to take away from this video, you're certainly welcome to catch the racket when it's up over your shoulder. Don't have to, it's stylistic, but the lower you move down, the less appropriate it becomes.